One of the biggest challenges for glioblastoma is that we don't have very good drug targets. We don't, we don't necessarily know how to treat the patients to extend their survival time. And so the focus of some of the projects in the lab are towards identifying the uh, drug targets or identifying the key components of the signaling network that drive uh, proliferation and invasion. Cellular signaling networks um, are driven by uh, chemical changes on proteins. So kinases uh, add phosphate to a protein and phosphatases take phosphate off of a protein. Uh, the combined action of multiple kinases then leads to activation of a network. Many of the latest uh, blockbuster cancer therapies are actually targeting specific kinases. The main technique that we use in the laboratory is, is mass spectrometry. Right now in the glioblastoma project, um, we've analyzed about a dozen or so uh, tumors that we've quantified the signaling networks, and uh, we've gotten the proliferation and diffusion data for those, and we're working on putting that data together. We've started a collaboration with a woman at, named Kristen Swanson at University of Washington, and what she's able to do is to take uh, serial MRI images and then calculate out tumor proliferation and diffusion rates from those serial MRI images. So we can take that data, combine it with our phosphorylation signaling data, and now identify for the first time which phosphorylation sites in human tumors are actually correlated with uh, tumor proliferation and invasion. Ideally, the work that we're doing in cancer will lead to identification of new drug targets that will hopefully have a big impact on, on patient health.